When Brian Merlin heard Scalzi Park was expanding, he started working to get the city a skate park. We told everyone through like the skate parks and the community that we knew. And it was amazing because like every meeting we had, there's always 10 times the people like we filled the room and then some like we were in the hallway and stuff at like the third meeting. And like the fourth meeting, we filled the floor and still had like 30 people skating outside the building. Like we just hyped it up so much. In 2007, the park was finally built. I think it's lovely. I think it's great. The kids, all the kids that I see here, they really enjoy it. It's a great safe place for the kids to come after school on the weekends. And it's uh, great that Stanford has the opportunity for them to come and enjoy themselves. Well, I like just skating and having fun here um, and just skating around everywhere. Skaters say the park helps keep them safe and out of trouble. Most skateboard fatalities are automobile related and don't happen at skate parks. Definitely, you're less likely to get arrested or fined because cops will pull you over when you're skating out in downtown Stanford, say, and you get in a lot of trouble in some places. Efforts have also been made to keep skaters safe inside the park. And I've seen the uh, city come and kick kids out for not wearing helmets. They give out $100 fines, so it's like three times the price of a helmet. As for skating experience, park goers say it's open to all different levels. Oh, I see the experienced skaters, they definitely let the young kids come and take turns and they're really nice to them and I think it'll help keep everybody off the streets.